Just a quick drive from Atlanta, tucked in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, Rome lies between the convergence of the Etowah, Ustanala, and Coosa Rivers. Rome was founded in 1834, then sadly during the Civil War, much of the city was burnt to the ground. But the spirit of Rome emerged so that today we can all enjoy this vibrant modern community with some really good shopping. From great antique shops to unique boutiques, it's easy to spend a day here. The best view in town is high above from the city clock tower built back in 1871. Just around the corner is the Robert Redden Footbridge, a great spot for nature lovers and it also happens to be a popular spot for marriage proposals. Yes, yes. It's also the spot that helped to inspire the town's name. So why is there a city called Rome in the middle of Georgia? Well, the founders discovered just like in Rome, Italy, there are seven hills, there's one right there, and three rivers. In fact, I'm standing on the spot right now where all three rivers converge. But what I really wanna know is, do they have Roman cuisine? Stomach's growling. Oh yeah, there are great restaurants in Rome, from Bella Roma to the hip Harvest Moon Cafe, with plenty of Southern fusion dishes. Time to walk off lunch at the world's largest college campus. Berry College covers 26,000 acres, complete with historic chapels. The old mill, built back in 1930, is one of the largest wooden overshot water wheels in the world. Then check out the breathtaking Oak Hill and Martha Berry Museum and the campus itself. In 1925, Henry Ford gifted these magnificent buildings to Martha Berry and the college. His hope was that the girls here could feel like princesses in their castles, but alas, even the princesses had to do their homework. Then finally, to wrap up your perfect Roman day, as the sun goes down, do as the Romans do and play ball with the Rome brains. So plan your visit to Rome today at romegeorgia.org.